Let's start the day. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud. Okay, so today I thought I would do an updated what's in my dog walking bag. Now, last one uh, that we had was, I've got something in my eye. Um, it was a airport travel sky pack that we had. It was quite a big bag, I think anyway, for walking. Now, I have since then split what was in that bag between two bags. Uh, <laughs> Hello! Baby! Are you a good girl? You gonna lie down? Anyway, um, I split what was in that bag into two different bags because I felt like I was just carrying too much uh, on the walk, uh, on the daily walks. Um, there was things that I just wouldn't use on those walks that I thought there was no need for me to have them. So I've since split them into two. I've got the two bags here. I'll tell you what I would use each one for. Um, and we'll just go from there. So for the, I want to say the street walking bag. So when I'm out for half an hour to an hour, you know, or daily walks, uh, what I normally use now is this bag. So I got this bag from Tesco. I think it was £14. Um, it came with a little pouch, a little, uh, what I use as a treat pouch in there I'll show I'll show you that um but I thought this was quite similar to you know you see the dog walking brands that have uh, the one that comes to the top of my head is Coco Pup they have the bags specifically for dog walking personally I don't feel I can afford to pay that much for what that is um so I DIY'd my own <laughs> so this is what I use. It does come with a strap. So let me just show you the strap. I just take it off for the videos because it's easier. But um, this is the strap that comes with it. It even has that section there that you can attach the treat pouch to, which again, I'll show you that in just a second. It's got an adjustable, so you can adjust it if you want. Um, and you just attach that to these wee things at the back on here. So we'll start with this because then I can get it off and explain the rest of this. So this is her poop, her poo bag holder. I got this from B and M, um, and it's just got Adios plastic bags in it, which that or Earth weighted as it again in my last video. That's what we use. Her do key ring still something that I attach to the the poop bags, and I just put that on a carabiner clip. And then, again, that can be unclipped and just took as that if you don't want to take the whole bag. So we have that. Then there's a mesh pocket in the back here. Um, and I keep the treat pouch in here. And we take it out when I need to use it. So this wee bag came with it. Came with this. Um, and I just, again, attached another carabiner clip which that then can clip onto the bag, makes it a wee bit easier for me to get in and out of the treats. Um, and a, this is just a little pouch that you can put treats in. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see those treats. Um, however, I did bring, this is the treats that we like to use, uh, Denzel's treats. I get them all different flavours, apart from the... Uh, Oh, see, because I've got the treats now, is that what you want? Is it? Um, apart from the ones that have peanut butter in, because Ruby doesn't like peanut butter. She must be the only dog that doesn't like peanut butter, but she doesn't. Um, so Denzel's is now the treats that we go with. This one is banana, berries and salmon. Um, so that, that's an unopened one. We do have some in the treat pouch, which I'll give Ruby because she's been very good. I can show you what they look like. 
So this is what they look like. They're a perfect size for on a walk. Hmm? Yeah. Here. You come and get it. Really? Yeah. 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 Good girl. <laughs> um, so yeah. So we pop a few of those in there. We use them as treats on the walk. Then we come to the actual bag. Now, there isn't actually anything in this top section. This is where I put my phone and my keys when we go on a walk. It's a perfect size for your phone. Um, and that's normally what I put in there. Don't really need anything else usually. She's trying to get into the cheat bags. Um, and then in this front section, so there's a front section as well, we've upgraded to a torch rather than the torch that you had to hold in. So this is just your normal average torch, which we'll be needing coming into the winter months, autumn winter months. And then also, I do still have my clip. She's trying Ruby, darling, you can't get into there. No, you've had treats. Um, I do still have this clip. Um, and I've just managed... I remembered I had these from my Flexi Leads. And I thought that would be good rather than having to carry a full extra lead in this bag. So, again, this is just in a case of an emergency. Um, it's good to put around the dog or around a collar if need be or you know just to give that a wee bit extra this is a just in case situation so and that's the only two things that are in there so that's just everything that we take on our normal walks uh, daily walks half an hour maybe even less than that on our normal walks with the lead i'm just going to put all that down there Apart from the cheese, we'll pop that up here. Okay, then we'll move on to the, I call it her overnight bag. So normally I use this, if we have to take her overnight somewhere, uh, this is the bag I'll use. Or if she's to stay overnight with someone, like my parents, this is the bag that we pack for her with all the things in. Um, I also use this, we've been going to a lot of dog meets, uh, Chihuahua dog meets, um, and we've started taking her to training. Uh, so, and socialisation with other dogs, things like that. This is the bag that we take. So, this is her backpack. Um, and it's got a back zip pocket. It's got... Uh, what do you call these, elasticated, uh, it's got a front pocket and then just a main compartment. So again, there's a do key uh, on this as well and just a wee red gem keyring. So in the front pocket, this is normally where we put the treats. Yes, it's normally she's going to be here the whole time because she knows where everything is. So our treats normally go in this front pocket, easy access. Uh, for that. In the sides, in this side, we have hand sanitizer. <laughs> and this side, we have some more poo bags. And I feel that, yeah, this has got quite a big, quite a big roll in there. So our poo bags are in the side pocket. If we go into the main compartment, now normally in the main compartment, what we would pack, so if she was staying overnight with someone, we would pack her uh, food bowl, her food, um, a jump, an extra jumper and harness for if it's raining that day, uh, what else, whatever toys that she wanted to take. Mainly when she, do, when she does go to my parents, they have quite a lot of stuff there for her, so really it's only our food that she needs to take and the extra jumper harness. Uh, so, which easily, easily fits in here. Um, so in here, just now, what we have is her uh, long line. 
our long lead, yeah, um, which we use on the meats or if we do a pack walk, if we go for a field visit. Um, and I do keep it in a Ziploc bag because, especially with Scotland and the weather changing now when it's wet, it gets all wet in the grass and it's just easier to pop it back in there like that and put it back in the bag. There's then the zip part here. This is just where her collapsible bowl is, which again was in the other What's In My Bag video. We also do, I've upgraded our water bottles. I found this bottle in B&M last year and no darling. And I thought it was just brilliant. Uh, so this is what we use to take water with us. Um, it's a Disney Disney themed water bottle with all the dogs from Disney. <laughs> Disney is a love of ours. We love Disney in this house. So it says, my favourite kind of people are dogs. Um, and it's got a pop print on here and it's just a an unscrew. You just fill it up with water. Um, and that just fits in the bag and it gets zipped up. What we then have in the back of the bag, so in this zip section at the back, we have this little uh, pouch which has the first aid bits, so you know the wipes, the tip remover, the uh, tape, that's all, I put it all into a pouch and that's the first aid pouch. And then in this bag we do carry the extra, just the extra fabric lead. Again, this is just in just in case situation. This one is a dog for dog. It's got little rainbow dogs on there, just on the one side, uh, and it's just a clip. So, but it's a very very soft fabric. So, uh, that's it. That's everything we have in those bags. Um, yeah, if there's anything else you would like to know, leave a question for me down in the comments. However, I am going to head. I managed 10 minutes without her barking. Ruby, Ruby, what's this? Yeah, Luke, what's this? Even treats can't get her to leave the window. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Um, and we'll carry on with some more dog videos. Thank you.